What is up, Teachers on Fire? Today, I want to show you just how powerful and mind-blowing 3D view in Google Maps really is. No, I'm not talking about street view. I'm talking about 3D view. Have you used it? Let's go on a tour of beautiful downtown Vancouver, BC, and I'm going to demonstrate the power of 3D view in Google Maps. This might come in handy in your social, uh, social studies classes, but really in just about any class that you can imagine. So let's type in Vancouver, BC. Here we go. And uh, there we are. Now, this is a view that everyone is familiar with. Just to orient you, if you're not from the area, we've got a number of other municipalities, West Vancouver, North Vancouver, Burnaby, Richmond, all in the area. But we're going to zoom in on Vancouver, particularly the downtown area. And this is an area that I do not live in right now, but it's an area that I would love to retire in because I love to visit and it's got so many awesome things going on. So we're going to zoom in on downtown Vancouver. And actually, before we start our walking tour or our flyover tours, maybe a better description, I just want to give you a quick, um, quick sense of where the downtown sits in relation to the area. Now, very, very important in this demonstration is, and maybe I'll, I'll see if I can zoom in on this. Nope. No, I cannot. It's going to zoom in on the map. So over here in the bottom right hand corner, we've got this, this 3D button. Make sure you click that once you're in satellite view and you saw the map shift. And now I'm holding down the shift key, holding down the shift key with my left finger. And now you can see I'm holding down the mouse, the left the mouse button with my right hand, shift key with my left finger. And now I can sort of rotate and give you a sense of the area. So out here we've got UBC and this greater city of Vancouver, or pardon me, just the city of Vancouver. Greater Vancouver has a different meaning. And this area here you can see is not quite an island, but you can see that the downtown is sort of surrounded by water except for this strip right here. And so that's going to be the focus of our tour today. So if your mind is not blown yet, I think uh, you may be impressed by what I'm about to show you. And again, I'm going to sort of show off these features and just the power of the 3D view as we walk around beautiful downtown. Now, if you do click on any site, Google Maps will bring up that, uh, that blow up and give you more information about the location. So that is still active, but we're going to try to turn that off. And I'm going to start my walking tour right here at a place that is really helpful uh, for intermediate and elementary teachers especially and that is science world really fun place for students to come and learn in hands-on ways and there are always different exhibits and shows going on in science world so great place a lot of vancouver area teachers will know science world it's also you can see the sky train line runs by science world and so it's uh, easily accessible as well all right, let's continue the walking tour and I'm just going to, I don't have this scripted, so I'm just going to show you the sites that I find personally interesting and, and fun. So right here we have Rogers Arena. This is where the Vancouver Canucks play. Let's see if we can zoom in on that just a little bit more. Can I zoom in more over here? Yes, wow, that was a little too, <laughs> that was a little too tight. Um, okay, yes, there is Rogers Arena. So for NHL fans, and I must say the former home of the Vancouver Grizzlies for NBA fans, uh, we, we mourn their departure. Over here we have BC Place. Now again, a, a navigation or uh, strategy to use is again, hold down that shift key when you want to rotate your view. That's what I'm doing right now, holding down the shift key and then also holding down the mouse button. And what I just did is rotated my field of view. So I'm showing you kind of where Vancouver sits with the mountains in the background and uh, in, in relation to these local sites as well. So BC Place seats about 50, 60,000 people and it's home of the MLS team, the Vancouver Whitecaps. Let's keep going down this waterway. Now this is a man-made waterway referred to as False Creek. We are making our way into an area of Vancouver called Yale Town. And Yale Town is filled with 90s era or era era buildings. Uh, they're, they're sort of created, well, and, and newer as well. So uh, buildings that really began shooting up in the 90s. And of course, for their time, they were pretty revolutionary. All the glass towers, that's, that's the style. Oh, you saw Yale Town show up there, that label. 
So I don't know how Google Maps integrates that, but uh, they do a great job. Actually, a really interesting documentary on Netflix available about how a German company actually pioneered the technology that we are using right now. And then uh, Google sort of expropriated it somehow. Well, you can you can draw your own conclusions. But uh, so Yale Town, the glass tower part of the downtown Vancouver, uh, it's got a lot of new towers again, but it really sort of found its identity in the 90s. We are making our way down False Creek. All of the area that you are seeing here is surrounded by what is called the seawall. I'm sure a lot of cities use that term, the seawall. And so you can bike and walk and it's just a beautiful, beautiful walk to do. And we'll speed up our, our journey a little bit. We're coming up to, I believe this is the Granville Bridge. Yeah, there's the label. And you have a really cool tower here. I'll, I'll zoom in on this one. I can't remember the name of it. We're going to sort of fly by here, but you can see the way it's angled. Now it's not rendering perfectly in Google Maps, but you can see the way it's angled is sort of anti-gravity. And as you go up in the tower, you're you're sort of uh, hanging over empty space, which is kind of kind of fun. Now, uh, a very popular place to come for tourists and and for locals, I have to say, is Granville Island. Now, Granville Island is not really an island, but it's sort of separated. Let's zoom out a little bit. See what we can show you here. Um, yeah, it's so not an island, but. <laughs> But it is, uh, it is kind of its own little space here. So you drive into Granville Island and you've got markets and shops and stores and uh, just lots of fun things for the family. Kids Market is part of that as well. Back to our tour of downtown Vancouver. So that was the south side of False Creek, which uh, is debatable whether that's part of the downtown. I would say no, others would say yes. Now we come to the older Burrard Bridge. And now we are looking a little bit east in the downtown toward Burnaby. So you've got the Burrard Bridge here. And now you're getting into a really populated area of, um, or highly visited, highly trafficked, maybe is a better way to put it, area of beach, beachfront. So this is, you know, this is not Maui beach material, but it is nice to come to. And in the, you know, the hot summer days, you will have a lot of people here. This is all English Bay, Sunset Beach you'll see right here. A lot of these towers were built in the 70s, although this area is gentrifying as well. You're getting newer towers um, appearing in the downtown. And this is all, we're now kind of coming into what's called the West End and specifically Davie Village along Davie Street, which is one of the larger streets on this side of the downtown. So lots of time. I've spent many, many visits here at English Bay, English Bay Beach. If you follow my Instagram, you'll probably see some sites here from time to time. A really fun place to come. Lots of people, street performers, buskers, hot dog vendors, shops, restaurants, etc. And of course the seawall continues. I hope the mouse clicking is not too loud here. You can do this with a trackpad as well, but. All right, now I'm going to zoom out and just show you, give you a quick tour of Stanley Park. Again, just, uh, just a world-class park and striking, striking views of ocean and mountain as you walk your way around this park. And a kind of funny note on Stanley Park in the last year or so, we've had a bit of a problem with coyotes. Of course, you know, it's not very politically correct to kill coyotes, but they were thriving a little too much in the park. And so they were starting to go after, I don't know, small pets. They're biting people, small children. No one was hurt, but eventually they did have to cull the coyote population. But Anyway, great, uh, great world-class park to visit. Google Maps only does so much. You really have to see. In fact, let me see if I can get back to an area called Seawash Rock. I might have zoomed in. This is the Lionsgate Bridge that we're kind of flying through. Let's see if we can fly. Yeah. 
Let's see if we can actually look down. This is amazing. Oh, I lost it. I wanted to see if I could look down the bridge, if you know what I mean. From inside the bridge. Can we do it? No, it's it's not letting me quite get inside the bridge. Uh, come on. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Okay, I won't take too much of your time there. Prospect Point. Again, just amazing uh, area to cycle in. Yes, and this is the, the very photogenic area called Seawash Rock. Doesn't show up as well on Google Maps, but uh, just, just an amazing bike ride and walk around. Takes you about two hours to walk around the whole park. Um, sorry, I'm not doing a great job of steering. Let's zoom out one more time and see if we can, there we go. Rotate the field. And now we're coming into the other side of the downtown. My computer is working hard here. I can hear it. And I don't know if that fan sound is showing up on the recording, but hopefully it's not dominating too badly. So here is the Vancouver Aquarium, which no longer has any whales in it, I believe. I think it's probably a good thing. And we're rounding the corner. There's a lighthouse and Dead Man's Island. Now we get into the marina and we move toward the rowing club. This is just a gorgeous area from the ground. Now you'll see, I think Google Maps, wow, that lake is so green. It doesn't appear that way from the ground, but it sure is right now. Now, I think a lot of this uh, recent Google Maps, actually, you can see the color of the grass here is just really yellow. And so what that tells me is this was probably taken in the summer, July, August. Vancouver is essentially rainforest. Uh, that is all of the surrounding area is rainforest, but um, in the summer, we get blasted with sun to the point where all the grass can turn green by as early as May or June. So now we are lining up with this, with I guess the eastern part uh, of the downtown, northeastern corner. This is Georgia, which is a major thoroughfare. And we're still going to follow our way around the seawall. So now we are entering an area that I often affectionately call my future retirement home. This is where I would like to retire. And I love to visit with the beautiful Mrs. KB. And right here, now there, this is sort of hotel alley, but this is my personal pick. Now, some locals might dispute me on this on this pick, but I'm going to go with the Weston Bayshore. You've got your, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. You've got your uh, outdoor pool, indoor pool, fitness, and these views of the, uh, of the surrounding mountain. You've got the North Shore Mountains and uh, the, the bay, the Burrard Inlet. Uh, and it's just a really comfortable, quiet hotel. Really love it. L -l love it. Okay. So continuing on, this is, I don't want to miss this restaurant here. Got to give them a shout out. So right on the corner, if you're visiting downtown Vancouver, you've got to visit the lift. So the lift and Cardero's are kind of the two restaurants where you're sitting right on the water. Hard to make out it's not rendering perfectly there in google maps but uh, you've also got some free parking up here so it's uh it's such a great option to come and visit and do some work here so maybe i'll zoom out just a little bit and again we're following the now the eastern side of the downtown this is all coal harbor an area that i really really love there's the other restaurant that I mentioned, Cardero's. And we've got over here my favorite cafe. No, right across the street from Cardero's is my favorite cafe, Bellagio, right here. Let's see. I don't think I can give you much of a view on my MacBook. The notes keep wanting to appear whenever I. Uh, there. Yeah, that's the best I can do. All right. So isn't that, I just can't get over this the 3D view. And I've been using it for a while, but it's still so cool. And maybe we'll speed this up a little bit. We've got the Coal Harbor Community Center. And I would say the one thing with Tower Life 
is I would want to make sure I've got some south facing, or it's got to be not all north facing at the bare minimum. Hopefully some south. In this part of Vancouver, to the south you've got uh, obviously sunshine. To the west you've got the ocean. And to the north, if I can do a, a quick spinorama here, to the north you've got the striking mountains. And so... I would want, now I know this is getting greedy, I would want hopefully a little bit of each. <laughs> Some views of each. A little bit of sunshine and ocean and mountains would be kind of the ideal. So we zoomed out pretty far there. I'll, I'll fly back into the, into Coal Harbor. And we'll just keep walking back by Bellagio's. And we're coming to the end of our tour. We've got here the... Vancouver Convention Center, beautiful area to come and walk around. Harbor Air is a seaplane terminal, so you can catch flights to Victoria and other Gulf Islands from here. This was all built around the time of the 2010 Olympics. It's now, it's been here a while. Uh, it's got the grass roof going on. And now we have the older Convention Center Also, Canada Place. You might recognize these iconic sails. Lots of tourist attractions in this area as well. And then we have the old waterfront station, which is, you know, probably predates just about every other building I've shown you here. And this is a, a really nice terminal, which now is home to sky trains primarily. And from this area, you can also, let's see, there's the walkway. You can also catch the C bus. There's the C bus terminal. And that goes across to North Vancouver. All right, there you have it. Um, yeah, we've got the Skyreach Center and a revolving restaurant. Every city has those. And I hope that's been fun. Maybe you just wanted to get a look at downtown Vancouver, get a bit of a sense. I probably skipped some huge <laughs> landmarks that some will remind me of in the comments, but so that gives you a bit of a sense of just walking around the seawall around the downtown area, what you can expect. And it also gives you a sense of what you can do with Google Maps. So I think a, a fun application for schools and for teachers is to show your school or to ask within the safety of a classroom, you could ask students to suggest landmarks or areas that they are familiar with and that they like and put them up on the screen as well but you know whether it's looking at the capital of ukraine which is in the news right now or other cities close to you google maps 3d view uh, just does an amazing job of uh, of bringing these places to life you really do feel like you are flying around now it doesn't look as impressive with all these other <laughs> with all the these other uh, towers around, but you can see, can we fly right in here? You can see there is the library. And I, I'm noticing right now, there's some cool stuff happening on the roof that I need to, I need to get a better sense of. I just wanna give you access from this side. Yeah, you can see a bit more of the wall there, right? that is sort of built using the Roman Colosseum as inspiration. So again, a really fun place to bring your students and maybe I will leave the tour there. It's hard for me to zoom or to fly right in because it's got so many other towers around it, but yeah, all right. Kind of anticlimactic finish, but if this was helpful, if you had fun exploring Vancouver with me using 3D view in Google Maps, please give this video a like, leave a comment below. Let me know what I missed in my downtown tour. Maybe I'll have to redo this at some point and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, teachers. And I'll catch you next week right here on Teachers on Fire. Bye-bye.